Uh, very good. Uh, welcome back to the second part of the lecture. This is going to be much shorter. There's only one subject that uh, I want to cover before the, the end of today's class. And the idea is that last time we figured out how to represent mathematically the operation of uh, disjunction or. And we saw that with properly regraduated degrees uh, of belief, the or operation is represented by the sum, something very simple. But we did it only for the special cases of two propositions, A and B, that were mutually exclusive. So what we want to do now is, 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 is find the general sum rule for situations in which A and B are arbitrary. So this is how it works. And uh, here I would like to go to my tablet. And this is how we would do it. Uh, the idea is we have that if A, B are mutually exclusive, uh, then the uh, degree of belief in A or B uh, given a uh, any uh, other proposition or assuming any other proposition is going to be just the sum of the two. The sum, the plausibility of one plus the plausibility of the other. Very good. So we want to eliminate this uh, restriction to mutually exclusive propositions. And the way we do it is we, we, we remember that uh, any proposition A can, is, is logically the same as A and B or not B. They are exactly, they are, they are exactly the same from a logical point of view. The truth of A is exactly the same as the truth of uh, A and B or not. And, of course, we can just use the distributivity rule there and write this as A, B, A and B, or A and not B. We can do exactly the same thing with B. So, but let, us, let, me, let, me, let me make very sure what we're doing here. For any A, B now, not just mutually exclusive. This is completely general now. We're going to write exactly the same thing and write that B. can be written as uh, A or not A and B, which is the same as A, B or A, not B. So one of the things that we can see now is that A or B is going to be equal to, I'll write the A, A, B, or A, not B. That comes from the first statement. And now I'll write the B, or B. B is going to be A, B, or A, not B. But the A, B is already included here, so I don't need to write it because uh, A or A is the same as A, right? Uh, so I don't need to write that. And so now I'm going to write the second piece like that. So for absolutely any A's or B's, I'm going to see the do this right. No, I got, I got it wrong. I'm so sorry. A, here there is, there is no tilde there. But it is very clear that uh, this guy and those guys are mutually exclusive because here you have B and not B. And this guy and that guy are also mutually exclusive because here you have A and not A. And uh, also that this guy and that guy are also mutually exclusive uh, because you have, well, A and not A and B and not B. So, they're mutually so, so the formula that we have here for mutually exclusive uh, uh, yeah, propositions, it applies. Here, let's write it out. A not B, I'm sorry, A or B in the context of C 
this is going you know what i'm not going to write the, in the context of c anymore because we're just writing everything in the context of c so i'm going to write it in the simplified way it's going to be the degree of belief of the first i'm sorry uh, yes of the first here uh, of this one a b plus degree of belief of the second plus degree of belief of the third because these three are all mutually exclusive and i'm going to do something else i'm going to add and subtract uh, CAB minus CAB. Clearly, I've added zero to this picture. But now, if I collect all of these terms together, A or B, then if I do the first with, with which one? With the second. We have C. This is a sum. And they're mutually exclusive, so I can write it as B uh, or not B. So taking care of those two first. Now I'm going to write the third with the third. And I'm going to write it as C. Uh, there is the B in common. Uh, and then uh, B. And finally, I'm going to write this one here, minus C, A, B. And uh, when you look at what this is and what that is, it's clear that A or B is equal to the degree of belief in A or B in the general case in which A and B are not mutually exclusive is the degree of belief in A plus the degree of belief in B minus the degree of belief in A and B. So there we have the general sum rule. And uh, that's what uh, I wanted to do in this last uh, very short leg of the class. What we're going to be doing uh, next time is analyzing what constraints uh, of associativity and distributivity will give us for the other function, capital G, that is used to represent AND. And the moment that we have that, we have a serious accomplishment in our hands because we have the rules of probability theory all derived from clear ideas about how you design a mathematical framework for manipulating the degrees of belief. What that will have proved is that degrees of belief are supposed to be manipulated, manipulated using the rules of probability which solves the problem of interpretation. Uh, very good. Enough for today. See you next time.